Colorado.com. All right, let's get back over to Dave. Once you mention the brown cloud, I can't unsee this. Uh, well, I know. You can see, you know, it looks so nice. You see the blue up here and then the haze just kind of over the city. You can see it's very uh, kind of fuzzy when you look at the mountains out there. So that's going to stick around probably for most of the day. Once we start to warm up tomorrow, the air mixes at altitude and down at the surface, and it helps to clear it out. So I think tomorrow or the next day, things will get better out there. 27 degrees right now. It's still a lot of snow at City Park there, but we're working on melting. Melting all of that out there. Temperatures right now, it's cold up north. None is at 16. They were below zero this morning up that way. It's 27 in Longmont, 25 in Lakewood, and then you get warmer the further south you go. Elizabeth at 38, 40 Castle Rock, and 39 in Conifer. Look at Bailey already at 42 degrees. So up at altitude, the higher you get, you got a little more warmth up there, and that's what traps that pollution in the lower elevations. So Greeley, you're at 20 right now. You can see a lot of numbers in the 20s and teens across. Uh, the state, but we got a warm up coming our way slowly but surely with all that sunshine we got going on. Just a few clouds north of Steamboat. That is it. High pressure moving in, and that will uh, be bringing us the warmth today and even better tomorrow and the next day. Then we got our next big thing out here, which is a deep trough, which is already raining and snowing in the Pacific Northwest. That'll be sliding in Thursday night into Friday and giving us another change. In fact, Thursday night and Friday, some of the mountains here could see up to three to six inches of snow and a lot of wind as that blows in as well. Some of the wind gusts could go up to 60, maybe even 70 mile per hour from time to time over the higher peaks. So that could be problematic if you do have to travel uh, early in the day on Friday. But until then, pretty nice day today. Just a few passing clouds will be mostly sunny for the remainder of the day. Tomorrow we'll start out sunny and see a few more clouds by afternoon pop here and there, especially out west ahead of that front coming in. In fact, at 6 o'clock tomorrow, you could already see the clouds thicken and just a little bit of precip starting. It'll pick up during the night on Thursday stay up that way. So today we're looking at 30s and 40s in the mountains and west. Same thing here across the eastern plains. So a little bit better than yesterday, but still on the chilly side. Overnight lows tonight. We're looking at 20s and teens around the front range here. Single digits like Greeley may drop to eight tonight. Teens and single digits in the mountains as well. So there's the eight in Greeley. Probably 14 in Fort Collins tonight. 23 for the low in Lakewood and about 23 in Parker. Our high today, about 39 in town, 38 at DIA. At least we're above freezing for that. 27 in the city tonight, staying dry. And then looking ahead, we'll be in the 50s on Thursday and Friday. So that'll melt some snow here. Friday with that little system coming through. We might pick up a few sprinkles late in the day from that with snow in the mountains. I just don't think it's going to be cold enough to produce any snow around here, but it will cool us down for Saturday to 44. We're back to 53 on Sunday, and then we got another cold front dom on Monday of next week. That might be a first alert weather day possible because there might be snow attached to that one as well. Big question. No shade in November is almost over. Are you going to keep this or what? Uh, well, uh, I, I still got a lot of filling in to do, so I'll see if the <laughs> boss lets me hang in there for a few more weeks. All right, to, to be Continue. Yeah, there you All go. Right, Dave, mm -hmm. Thanks. Well, you can get in the holiday spirit with award-winning music.